segment with somebody called Fode. 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 Yes. And before I start talking to you about your business, mm -hmm. fun fact, Fode was the uh, cameraman of the first episode of the Downtown Podcast, which is pretty cool, huh? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. So we're here to talk about Evasive.com, mm -hmm. which is the stuff that you're working on. And so it's a way to expose events and, and social things that are happening in Vegas, right? Yes. So basically, ideally, uh, we want to help people find out what, what, what's, what's going on in town in a very visual manner. So basically, think of it as in uh, Pinterest for events. So we want to help you really find out what's going on really quick, especially if you are, not, uh, if you are like uh, non-English speaking. I believe that the flyers are much, you know, resonate much faster with you, and uh, you're able to uh, uh, consume the information much faster with, with the images. This is really inclusive. So, like, I've noticed that when I go to your site, the first thing I see is all the flyers for the events. Yes. So that's exactly what you're talking about. Discovery, right? exactly. Yes. Yes. And so your aim is to kind of try and fill everyone's social calendar with all of the events that you're able to surface. How do you find all of these events? Actually, we have. Uh, I actually write main scrapers. Oh, really? Yes. Nice. Okay, okay. So let's yes. get into the technology. So how, yes. did, how did this come about? Um, initially, obviously, we couldn't do it manually, you know? Okay. So we have okay. to go out and actually find events now. Right. And uh, initially, we started in, for, uh, in Las Vegas, but now we, spe we, are, we are expanding to other cities uh, like uh, Las, uh, Los Angeles, Miami, New York, and such. And there is no way we can do it all manually. So uh, right now, what we're doing is uh, we're actually using functional languages uh, like uh, Elixir, uh, sitting on top of the um, the uh, Erlang virtual machine, and we um, we are writing some really main scrapers to go and find these events and come in and populate evasive.com. So not only not only is evasive.com super innovative, it's also very nerdy, awesome. Very in nerdy, the very hardcore. End. Yes, yes. Very cool. Yes. So, do you have any plans to expand outside the cities that you've already done so far? Um, well, honestly, we want to build a uh, global eventing system. Okay. And which will help you find events regardless of your language. Because nice. that's, that's why we are focusing on images. It's almost like, uh, think of it as like um, you know, playing cards, right? Yep. It doesn't matter your language. Like a lot of people, everybody knows what the, what the ace of spade is. Sure. Because it's very visual. Yes. You know? So ideally, if you see a photo of Jay-Z you know, on, on a flyer, you know Everyone that Everyone knows what he looks you like. You know, everybody knows what he yes. looks like, you know? So regardless of your language. So we want to focus on that and really help on discovery. Because in the future, I believe that such results will be more visual. There's no way it will be more text like based like, mm -hmm, like Google, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Then you have to decipher what it says, yeah, what's in there, exactly. translate and stuff, right? You can, you, you, you can easily um, localize your you know, dates, times, mm -hmm. and locations and stuff. But when it comes to description, when it comes to like, content itself, it's much more harder. But I, and I, so I believe that images are much easier for people to find events. Really cool. I could not agree with you more about your approach. Thank you. So you have an iPhone app right now that people can download in order to start yes. this stuff. How do they get after that? Uh, well, you can go to the iPhone, uh, iTunes, and uh, uh, search for Evasive, mm -hmm. and it's spelled E-V-A-S-I-V-E. -E. Great. And as in uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, <laughs> very evasive. Or, or if you don't have an iPhone, you can go to the, uh, to the .com, evasive.com, and then you can browse it you know, with, with your browser and uh, just a few events. Fantastic. Making it accessible to all different Anybody. devices, all different languages, no matter where you are in the world. I love it. Thank Worldwide, you. Worldwide, yes. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Hey, thank and you so much for Everyone check me. out evasive.com. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you.